But I, I wouldn't go up there and walk around. I'd go there and fly around. You're in spirit. You're, you, you know, you can wish yourself. Is there any beings on this planet? Mm -hmm. Please show me where and when you're taken. That's what I thought. Yeah. yeah. Are this is all? Is there others? Where? Woo! You're taken. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you, you will spend a lot of time in spirit feeling not at all tired, but your body here gets exhausted. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, and uh, um, so you wake up real tired. Right. So speed it up and see what you want to see and go and see the other what you want to see. Right. And then give thanks and get back. Mm -hmm. And then finish up the night by going to sleep and, and relaxing. Mm -hmm. okay. So you come back with the knowledge and, and you come to later. I mean, you can do this while you're awake. Mm -hmm. And then when you go to sleep, you've already got it, you've already been there, you flew from one place to the other, mm -hmm. you're not that tired, and you get a good night's sleep and you wake up in, you know, in a general way, like you do if you sleep in a general way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell us about telepathy. I, didn't I do that? We didn't do telepathy. We started to talk about it and then... The we wall. How you change it. How you two, two people. Go to a bare wall or stretch a sheet in, in, where there's no wind to make it flutter. No distractions. And two people, side by side. One sends, one receives. Mm -hmm. You mentally think of a picture that you want the other to pick up. And as best you can, one and both of you quiet your mind, the sender thinks up a simple picture as you learn and send it to the wall. Project it. You're a projector. Not to the person, but to the wall. Well, actually, you're sending it to the person. That mm -hmm. wall doesn't exist. Right. But it's a, it's, it's a good... It's a way to do it. Okay. Well, it's a, it's, it's a good method to start, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, you know, no telephones, no radio, no, no horns honking outside. If you've got to do it at a certain time when everybody's dead and in bed, you know, the quiet time. So there's no distractions to mar or jar your dreaming right. as you project <coughs> and receive. Don't be distracted. And then just say, okay, I'm ready. You're ready to send. I'm, all right, I, I, I'm sending now. Yeah, okay. And pick up the very first thought as a receiver that you get. The very first, I don't care how ridiculous it is, mm -hmm. ten and a half to, or nine and a half or nine and three fourths to ten, you got the right picture. Maybe not the whole picture. Instead of sending three peaks of a mountain with snow on the peaks, a very simple, beautiful picture. Uh, what do you see? I see a mountain. Oh, well that's a good hit. You got the generalization. Right. And uh, is there anything about the model? Well, it, it's got three peaks. Better hit. Is there anything more about it? No, just a mountain, you know, snow on top, bang, bang, bang. Mm -hmm. And then the other does it. The other sends back to you. You can do this two times in a row, each, back and forth. The third time, it's starting to waddle around a little bit, and you may not be totally accurate. The fourth time, it will, chances are, by then, your, your tonal mind is saying, I, I, I've been controlling this situation all my life, and now they're learning to let the Nagao do the controlling. I don't like it. I'm going to fight. So it interferes. Then you start searching the receiver starts searching for what is being sent. They don't just stand there and accept. Mm -hmm. They start searching. And maybe that thought, bang, you know, a, a black motorcycle just whizzed by. Well, that's ridiculous, you know. Look, 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 look up. And then you make up your own what you see. Mm -hmm. And it was a black motorcycle racing by. Mm -hmm. So you do that. Don't go beyond three times. And then put it down. Get your tonal mind rested. Oh, panic, panic. And now, phew, boy, they haven't done it in days. Oh, great, I can rest. I can, you know, I'm back to where I was. 
and a, and a, a, a few days, five days or so, get together and do the same thing the same amount of time. Again, it will happen, a panic. And again, give it a few days. You know, five days to ten days, and then get back. That, our, our tone of mind is very stupid. And uh, uh, get back to it again. This time, you're really taking it by surprise. Number three day, or number three picture, will probably be quite accurate. One, two, and three. And then it, it starts wavering. So fine, lay it off. Next time, go back three, four days instead of five, ten days and do it again. And what it's doing is making your total, total mind saying, oh, to heck with it, I give up. Mm -hmm. And you break down your total mind Resistance. to do what you want to do period, and want it to accept. Mm -hmm. It spent its lifetime accepting all of this other stuff, and it's, 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 it's like a door that has set there in the weather forever and ever and ever, and very satisfied with being a door, and the hinges are rusted. And, and eventually, creak, you know, creak, and eventually that rust kind of breaks away, and, and it might be a little noisy, but as in practice, you can oil that dang thing, and then once that, that's going real good, then image a place where you two, whoever, uh, and I would only do this in pairs, I wouldn't do it in three, unless the other one's been through it with another set, another pair, then after a while the three can combine, and then the four can combine, because they've done it on their own, and uh, uh, anyway, um, envision, Talk it over with each other where you want to meet in thought. Your phone booth. So if you're both familiar, you say you're not any good at imagination, but you're good at remembering. Mm -hmm. And in that remembering, you can remember what it looked like. Mm -hmm. Guess what, honey? That's called imagination. You're just calling it up and not recognizing what it is. All right? But anyway, because it's real to you when you think of it. You've been there, and now it's implanted, mm -hmm. and you can call it up. You can image it, imagination, into image, will to imagination to image, that spot. It's imagination. I don't care what you call it. It's imagination. Called up to, because you, you know, I'm from Missouri, I've got to see it before I can do it, that type of thing. Well, once you see it, it's there, it's upstairs in your knowledge. But uh, anyway, find a light spot that you're both familiar with, very familiar with, a, a park or uh, a lakeside or whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Usually someplace that's serene. Mm -hmm. And then make an agreement that on Wednesday night at uh, 7, between 7 and 8, I'm going to project me being there at that place. And they're okay. And uh, at that time, you do so. And one will stand around until the other appears. Or you might, might both appear at the same time. And if the other doesn't appear, it's because the other has forgotten or gotten busy or whatnot. Hold the conversation as if they were. All right? You're at the phone booth. They just happen to be out of the town with a cell phone. You can't hear and see them, and they can't see you, but subconsciously you're picking up. And, or, or the, the one receiving is picking up. Just make it real. Just envision a face of him or something like that. And uh, um, call him. You can call and say, hey, did you forget? And all of a sudden this guy's looking down and, oh my gosh, I should be, I should be at, the, at the lakeside at the little park there. Bang, there, you called him. And he shows up. It doesn't mean that that would happen, but it does happen and it can happen. And then again, he could be off in La La Land, sound asleep, but that's his total asleep, not the receiver. He knows this. I did an experiment with him one time. I told him um, he was supposed...